Hey again from uh, Flying Pig Labs guy. Uh, hey, I was going to uh, talk a little bit about um, data formats. Uh, I think this is actually a pretty common uh, little hang up. Uh, talking about um, high byte uh, first and uh, low byte first. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, the difference. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, what I'm talking about here. Uh, now the the term when I was a young teenager starting with computers was, you know, high byte first, low byte first. Uh, refers to the way the two bytes come through in a word when you're transmitting them uh, in some sort of communication link. Um, uh, I guess in the 80s, uh, there's this guy that wrote some thing. You can read about it on the, uh, Wikipedia. He wrote some sort of paper talking about uh, that type of uh, data transfer. And uh, from the Gulliver's Travels, he picked uh, Indian, uh, uh, big Indian, little Indian. I guess he's talking about which side of the egg goes first or some crap like that. Uh, I, I don't really like this, that sort of stuff. It's kind of, I know it's the, the way that uh, most new tech goes. They like to make these obscure names. Uh, I guess they think they're cute or makes them hip or whatever. And uh, I guess like a lot of fields as they age, uh, people like to make up term so I, I think no one else knows what the hell you're talking about so you sound more important uh, and you see it throughout the legal field and, and other fields where uh, people kind of want to have a I, I think a feeling of grandeur uh, so the term you'll see I think most common now is big Indian little Indian big Indian is high bite first little Indian low bite first uh, and the reason I like to use those high byte and low byte first terms is because they actually tell you what you're talking about instead of, again, some obscure, uh, you know, niche little I'm in the click type terminologies. Um, so the Siemens stuff is typically high byte first. Uh, everything that I've dealt with in their automation, oh, they make, you know, all kinds of. Uh, different products, you know, satellites and stuff, so I can't really say for all their stuff, but their automation stuff is uh, big Indian, high byte first. Uh, a lot of the stuff that kind of came off the Intel world is low byte first, little Indian. Um, so uh, that can uh, be a little point of confusion when you're trying to uh, transmit on some of the protocols, industrial protocols, uh, between two different devices that use the two different uh, 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 standards. But uh, one of the places it shows up if you're just in the Siemens world um, is in the way data shows up. If you're uh, trying to do things in bools and push them into a word, uh, something that Drive does all the time, um, and then in the PLC, you're looking at it. It is in, uh, you know, high byte first. It's in the big Indian. So um, that's no big deal, except for when you're looking at it, you got to remember the way the high byte and the low byte show up. It is not actually 100% intuitive um, if you're not really aware of, you know, the way the data is actually getting there through Profinet or Profibus or uh, you know, Modbus or, or whatever you're using. Um, so I just wanted to show that. So here I have a, a data structure that uh, I've written. And this data structure is uh, a status word. It's actually the status word in the, uh, with the drive set up as a position, a basic positioner. So it's the status word one. Um, and I'm uh, sorry, it's not really the status word. It's uh, STW1. Uh, it's the word that's going to actually command uh, the, the servo to do things. And something that if you, you know, mess with the drives at all, you're used to 
uh, byte uh, one, uh, the, the low byte uh, bit zero, uh, it's going to be the on and off. But when you look in the data structure, you're like, well, that's not bit zero. Well, it, it is, it's just not in the word in the zero position. The first part of it is the high byte. So it's the uh, bit 8 through 15. So that's what's showing up there. The next byte is the low byte, which is going to be bit 0 through 7. So you can see here that it's actually starting at, in the word, which you would consider to be bit 8, is actually the low byte bit zero. Um, so that's a little confusing because then when you look at the drive, if you're not thinking about it, let me just go here to the, the drive you can see, okay there's on off, it's bit zero. But they show it as a continuous word bit zero through fifteen, uh, not as two bytes. So hence the confusion of, of the way it's showing up. Uh, and that can bite you when you're trying to make your own data structure here. And you would actually put this on off here. Because when it gets transmitted, it's going to basically, that's not going to be on off. Right? That's actually going to uh, be this guy, right? That's the guy that's going to show up. You're going to try to turn the drive on, and it's obviously not going to turn on. Uh, and you wouldn't really see that unless you went to the drive. When you turn that bit on, you go, oh, okay. That's that's confusing. <laughs> um, so that's just something to keep aware of. Uh, the one thing you always got to have for the drive to really recognize what you're telling it to do is you have the bit 10 on. Um, so if you got the two bytes swapped, you won't be turning bit 10 on, right? You're going to have to look. See, that's the 1, 2, thir 3. 1, 2, 3. So you'd actually be flipping the uh, uh, no quick stop uh, signal on and off. And, of course, the drive's not going to work. So I know that's, uh, if it's the first time you've seen something like that, that's, that's really kind of confusing, and it could definitely be like, well, that's all bass ass words there, and um, wow, I, I don't know, I don't know what that's doing. So that's what it does. First bite, first bite, second bite, the high bite, the, the high bite. So as long as you remember that, you're okay. Um, sometimes if I'm dealing with trying to transmit data to a device. Uh, that I don't know which which way it is I will actually just have a word and I will set the first bit uh, and then I'll look into the device I'm sending it and see does it show up in the zero up here or does it show up here if it's if it shows up you know the opposite I know that I have to use the uh, there's actually a command in, in the uh, PLC to take a word and, and swap the bytes before I transmit it. Uh, I use the word the way I normally use it in uh, you know in my PLC and then when I transmit it I'll swap the bytes right before I transmit them. Because um, when you swap them then if you try to view them uh, the number uh, will be kind of crazy looking and so you just want to do it right before you send it uh, that way you don't have to uh, see it anyplace else and you know, make a comment that this is swapping the bytes for the device that you're sending it to. And remember, anything coming back from that device, you need to swap those bytes immediately. As soon as it shows up, you get it into a DB or a memory, whatever you like to use. You swap them immediately, and then that's the data you use. Um, so, uh, real commonly, uh, I've you know I've sent stuff back and forth with uh, Rockwell. They use the Intel uh, standard, so they're uh, low byte first, little Indian. Uh, so you always got to remember to swap those bytes around. Um, 
I've done like Honeywell DCS communications. They're also a little Indian. Um, actually, in the Honeywell, they can swap the bytes uh, because they're used to dealing with all kinds of uh, different vendor equipment. Uh, so they actually have that feature also built in that they can do right on the communication level to swap them. Uh, some of the communication gateways, same way. You just, you know, clip a flip a little bit in the config, tell it swap bytes, then it swaps the, the bytes for you. Um, also, when you go into double words and that, it swaps around the, the words because the words come around the same way. You know, uh, high word first, low word first. Uh, Got to make sure you get that right. Or you're just going to... Uh, Usually the you know the phone call I would get would be like, well it looks like the communications is established but all the all the data is garbage, and usually without even looking at it and I'm like okay well uh, I know that you got the little Indian big Indian uh, uh, transfer you got to do, um, and lots of times people especially if they've only used one brand that that's a kind of a problem they they don't understand any of this underlying um, uh, you know, data formatting because uh, they've never had to actually talk to something that wasn't the brand that they used. Uh, so it's it's pretty common with, with anyone who's only used one brand uh, device. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Good luck.